Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video on how to for ballistics. So all the time people are asking, how do you know what your bullet drop is at a thousand yards or 500 yards or even further? Well, we've got lots of tools available to us and Hornady Ford off is one of them and it's free. So if you've got an iPad, iPhone, or any kind of a droid device, you can simply download it. It's free to use and it works really well. So I just wanted to go through that. We're going to log in. You can just continue without an account. Now, if you're shooting Hornady bullets, the chances are they have it in their Ford off database that uses Doppler radar data instead of just ballistic coefficients. Long story short, it's more accurate. But we're just going to do a simple BC calculator so that you guys can see how it goes. So I'll click on the G1, G7 BC calculator. We'll go to General Calculator. Let's talk about a 308 standard 175 grain uh, match load. That's a very common load. You can find other data to cross-reference and make sure that this calculator is working correctly. <clears throat> We'll go in, we'll edit the variables. Now here we can edit the rifle information and our ambient, which is our environmental information. So we'll just enter in a velocity for a 308, 175 grain bullet. Uh, 2,600 feet would be pretty standard. We're gonna zero it 100 yards. Our sight height, which is the center of our bore or our barrel to the center of our scope. Somewhere between maybe an inch and a half and an inch and three quarters. It's not super critical, but it needs to be there. A one in ten twist. And we're not doing any kind of a windage offset. Now down at the bottom, it asks us, are we using U.S. standard units or are we using metric? We're using U.S. standards. The results can be spit out in minutes of angle. MRADs or inches and centimeters. I'm going to go ahead and do MRADs. So we'll save that information and then we'll go back in and up where it says rifle, we'll select shot. Okay. Here we're going to put in our environmental data. I've set this up for 4,000 feet of elevation and the program is automatically adjusted our barometric pressure. So what we really need to do is look at our temperature and our humidity. Humidity, you can leave that at 50%. It's really pretty minor unless we get out beyond 1,000 yards. 50% works well. Temperature, let's say it's today, it's March. Uh, let's say it's only 40 degrees. <clears throat> uh, the one thing I have got in here is I selected a Hornady factory load. Let's say that we're hand loading and we're going to enter this in by ourselves. So we'll enter a BC value. We're going to do a Sierra uh, Match King. Okay, and we'll just put MK. Bullet weight, we're going to do 175 grains. Ballistic coefficient, you can get this off the box or the website along with your velocity if you're using factory ammunition. And our bore diameter for 30 caliber is 0 0.308. Drag function, that's a G1. Okay, we set this, and now we can save it again. Now we've got all our environmentals. Per the data we've entered, at 1,000 yards, we're going to get 10.9 MRADs. We can spit out a chart if we select down here at the bottom. We're going to have a table range of 1,000 yards in 50-yard intervals. And here we have a chart that we can print out or whatever we need to do. So at 500 yards, we got 3.39 mils, 750, 6.62, and at 1,000 yards, 10.9 mils. This is a pretty standard load. So you can do this with your own loads, with your own hand loads. Just get your information either from reloading books or factory ammunition.
plus your environmental data, which you can get from a weather station or even right off the weather app on your phone. Anyway, this will give a really good starting point. It doesn't make it necessarily true, but it's going to get you very close to get you started for long range. Thanks for watching.